Your Excellencies, Monsignor, Reverend Fathers, and my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is a day of great import for the Church. Our brothers, the Cardinal Electors, have gone into the Sistine Chapel to elect the 266th Bishop of Rome. 266th Pope, our Holy Father. As we speak, they're in the Sistine Chapel, placing their hand on the Book of the Gospels, taking an oath, and looking at Michelangelo's beautiful fresco of the Last Judgment. I wonder what they're thinking. I wonder what's on their hearts. I can't imagine the weight on their shoulders. As they think about the Petrine ministry, as they think about the ministry and the mission of the Bishop of Rome to witness to Jesus Christ, that he is the son of the living God, that he is the Messiah. They're probably thinking about the ministry of Peter, to witness to the truth, to feed and nourish the flock of our Lord, to tend his sheep, to care for the flock entrusted to him. They're probably thinking of his ministry to go to the ends of the world and preach the good news of Christ. They're probably thinking of the ministry of Peter to go and bear fruit that will remain, acknowledging that it was Jesus who will choose his successor and not us who will choose. We heard in the first reading from St. Paul's letter about the body of Christ, that our Lord chooses some as apostles, some as teachers, some as evangelists, others as pastors and others as prophets, all for the building up of the whole body of Christ. What they do today and in the days following will be to assist the body of Christ in becoming whole. Each of us has a role to play. Each of us has a particular part in the body of Christ, a ligament, a muscle, perhaps an appendage. Each one of us, as members of the body of Christ, have a role to play. Imagine their role. Imagine the weight that is on the shoulders of our brothers in the Sistine Chapel today. They have to sit there before Michelangelo's last judgment, write a name on a card, walk up to the altar, and put that vote into an urn as they say these words, I call as my witness Christ the Lord, who will be my judge, that my vote is given to the one who before God, I think should be elected. Bearing in mind the whole mission of Peter, the mission of our Holy Father, Today we wear red as a symbol of the Holy Spirit. We ask our Holy, the Holy Spirit this day to be with our brothers, to descend upon them in power and wisdom, to give them courage and prudence as they vote. What an incredible task. 
And each one of us as members of the body of Christ have a certain role to play. You and I are not there in Rome. We're not there in the Sistine Chapel. But we are. We are right there in the room with them. Through our prayers, through our lifting them up, through our supporting our brothers who play this role in the body of Christ in the next few days. Their role is to elect our next Holy Father, to elect the next Bishop of Rome. My brothers and sisters, we can help them. We're in that room with our prayers. What a beautiful thing it is for us gathered today to offer this Mass for them, asking the Holy Spirit to come upon them. What a beautiful thing it is when we offer our rosaries over the next few days, or just offer up a, our Father, a Hail Mary, a Glory Be, for them, that, they will be, that their ears will be open, that their hearts will be open to listen to the Holy Spirit, to be instructed by the Holy Spirit. We ask during this Mass that the Holy Spirit descend upon them in power and wisdom, that His prudence will be with them, This is a beautiful time in the history of our church, a time that you and I can join with our brothers as members in the body of Christ to play our role in supporting them in praying for them as they contribute to the building up of the body of Christ so that it might grow, so that as Paul said, that it might reach maturity and build itself up in love. My brothers and sisters, we are part of this body, and we all have a role to play. Over these next few days, may we play our role well in supporting our brothers, in supporting these cardinal electors as they gather in Rome. We ask that the Holy Spirit come upon them, and that we might, through our prayers, assist them as the church, as the body of Christ is built up with love to continue the ministry of Christ in the world, to continue to bring the gospel to all people, to continue to go and bear fruit, fruit that will remain. It's an integral part of the mission of the church Peter, given the keys to the kingdom of heaven and given the instructions to feed the flock, to spread the good news, to be a source of unity for the whole church of God. And you and I, today, and over the next few days, support them with our prayers. May the church grow, may it continue to go forth and bear fruit, and under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, May we go forth in courage, may we go forth in wisdom and in prudence as we pray for our brothers. Our Lord has given us this beautiful ministry of the office of Peter. Through our prayers, may we support it. Through our prayers, through our fasting, through our offering up and invoking the Holy Spirit, May we play our role well in the body of Christ.